Eurasian Lynx vs. Clouded Leopard. Who will win a ferocious fight? Both are medium-sized cats. The Eurasian Lynx is the fourth largest Russian carnivore and is a mighty member of the small cats. The Sundaland Leopard is the sixth largest big cat in the world. Tackling even the deadliest of the porcupines, to one of the largest deers. The worst enemy of sun bears, are hiding beneath the Bornean canopy. Description The Eurasian lynx has a relatively short, reddish or brown coat, with spots or small stripes. The underparts are white. It has a large ear with sharp ends reducing to thin hair tufts. Along with small manes and a short neck, it has powerful, long legs, with large webbed and furred paws that act like snowshoes. It also has a short and black-ended tail with sharp and retractile claws for gripping. The Sonda Clouded Leopard is overall grayish-yellow or gray hue. It has a double midline on the back and is marked with small cloud-like patterns on shoulders. They can roar and purr, with a big cat structure. The lynx is 80 to 130 centimeters long and 55 to 75 centimeters tall at the shoulders, while being 18 to 30 kilograms on the wild. The Dayard's cat is 121 to 182 centimeters long and 50 to 60 centimeters tall at the shoulders, with the wild mass of 12 to 26 kilogram. But both are 55 pounds on average. But the lynx is more robust and its foe is more flexible. The clouded leopard is stable on the treetops with higher balance due to the long tail while the lynx jumps higher. The clouded leopard has more balance and muscle mass. I would give one extra point to the clouded leopard on this category. The lynx can jump 25 feet into the air and the sonda leopard can jump 15 feet upwards. Both have a top speed of 80 km per hour. The clouded leopard is ahead of the lynx in agility, except for jumping height. One noted feature, is the clouded leopard can climb down trees, head first. One can even hang on their hinds from a branch while the forepaws grab a bird. Two points plus. On terrain compatibility, the lynx can fight on the ground. The cloudy can fight on trees, ground and water. Due to the fat and mane, the lynx should have three extra points in defense. The lynx would tire out quicker as the fat and fur would result in sweating. Both carnivores hunt a variety of prey. The largest prey a lynx hunts are the 180 kg reindeer, and the clouded leopard hunts the sambar deer which is 150 to 500 kg. The deadliest among all is the porcupine. The lynx competes with coyotes, wolverines, wolves, tigers and brown bears. Mostly, the lynx avoids a fight with these. The Sonda Leopard is faced by several mustelid, various cats, sun bears and orangutans. On to bite effectiveness. The Clouded Leopard bites with 137 BFQ force which is greater than any lynx. The canines are longer than a jaguar's at 2 inches. The lynx's jaws open to the limit of 61 degrees. The clouded leopard opens the wide jaws up to 100 degrees wide. Wider than any cat. How do they behave in the wild? Both are not the most aggressive of the cats. The habits of the Sonda clouded leopard are unknown because of its secretive nature. It is solitary and uses trees to escape threats. The enemy on their habitats that can defeat them are the Sumatran tigers. In Borneo, due to the lack of dangers, they hunt and inhabit the land. 
flat-headed cat and Asian golden cat avoids the stronger predator. Marbled cats and fishing cats may attack it when cornered. The killings of orangutans by long canine marks on the neck, suggests that these cats have tussled with orangutans. The big threat to them are people. After the gestation of 85 to 93 days, the female produces 1 to 5 cubs. The cubs are 180 to 250 grams when born, and will open eyes after 2 weeks. The teeth grows after 3 weeks of age. They are active after 5 weeks from born. The cubs separate their mother at 10 months of age and become mature at 2 years old. Their territory is 20 to 50 square kilometers wide and males patrol it. They scent mark by rubbing bodies against areas. During the patrol, if two males meet, they engage in a battle. The winner is the new owner of the area. Due to the teeth size, males have sometimes killed females by breaking necks. The lifespan is 12 to 15 years. Lynxes are solitary and escapes through camouflage from stronger enemies like tigers. A lynx would demolish a fox or a coyote on a one-on-one -on -one fight. Though they try to avoid all the dangers by high agility. After 67 to 74 days of gestation, the female gives birth to one to three kittens, which weigh 230 to 430 grams, and open eyes after 10 to 12 days after birth. They become active within eight weeks. The cub becomes independent on 10 months of age, and become mature after two and three years, for females and males respectively. They die after three to 17 years on wild average. Lynxes mark territories by urinating. As you know the facts, let us concentrate on compact. As the size of the lynx subspecies can vary, this fight has three options. If both are of similar sizes, take 26 to 30 kilos, the clouded leopard would win. Why? Clouded leopard has a big mouth and hilariously oversized canine teeth. It isn't brittle like a smilodon's. Not many knows this big cat is wielding one of the greatest weapon a cat could equip. This is of use. If it closes from the wide range, it could slice a lynx's neck, clean off. Only one bite is needed. Both can't stand on hinds to have the upper paw, but due to similar size, neither could push its foe. The larger paws of the lynx could defend the Sonda leopard to a limit. But due to lower endurance, it would tire out quickly and then the clouded leopard goes in for the kill. The next way, the lynx is larger. Do not underestimate the lynx. Now it is larger. The Siberian lynx is known to weigh up to 38 kilograms. They stalk, leap and strike the enemy with extremely powerful paws, cutting the spine. It now stands a chance. Now it could wrestle down its clouded cousin. But even then, it should avoid those claws and fangs. But due to the size it could gain the upper paw. But let's not roll out the clouded leopard yet. He would still have two edges. The jaws and stamina. So as the fight lasts longer, the leopard's chance becomes greater. The lynx must end this mess quickly. The lynx would have 60 to 70% chances now. But let us think of one thing. What if an average lynx runs into an average Sonda leopard? Who would win then? As I said before, the Sonda clouded leopard stands a greater chance against an average lynx. It is also possible at equal sizes, but not on the largest recorded, nor the largest wild size. As it is common on our channel. In a situation when a lynx is larger, which is possible, it wins. But unfortunately at average sizes, I have to swap the tables in favor of the male, Sonda Leopard. Thanks for watching and remember to vote your winner in the comments and subscribe. Bye, until next time.